this look like I have eyeliner on? Okay, now many of you are probably going, why would I ask that? But then again, some of you might know. What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you some movie news you can find on your own, but I'm going to find it for you and tell you about it. Yeah. I appreciate you guys clicking in. As always, you guys are awesome. Love my fans. Let's get started. All right, Batman vs. Superman. I always start off every show talking about this. Obviously, anytime something comes about, I always make a separate video about it. And we know it's been a pretty crazy week. First, the supposed leaked script from Kevin Smith surfaced. And, of course, it was not from him. It was all just some... Somebody just threw it out there, and you know what? Like I said, it's not a bad script. Did any of you guys read it? Not a bad script. It's got Aquaman. It's got the three characters. I like the little exchange between Luthor and Wayne. I like the first appearance of Batman. It has those three villains that I talked about in that one video. And it also has Doomsday. And uh, two days ago, I kept seeing movie blog posts that said, Is Doomsday a Batman for this Superman? I'm thinking, oh, I'm like, ah, oh, come on. It was in the fake script, guys. Are you guys not reading the fake script? So, most likely not. But I want him to be, but I want him to be not a big, crucial villain. I don't want him to be the super villain. This, would, this is the way I would love to see it, and it probably won't happen this way, but you never know. I want to see Doomsday established, okay? Because if you guys know the Doomsday character, it's like pretty much any time he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman, he like pretty much kind of dies, but doesn't really die, and he just comes back stronger. So why not have him in there, maybe a little bit, Superman kicks his ass, they bury him somewhere, like I think that's what they ended up doing, if I remember correctly, uh, they bury him somewhere, he comes about, and then he's the supervillain in the Man of Steel sequel, and then we have the Superman Doomsday story, Superman gets killed, boom, he comes back in like the next Justice League 2, Ah, that's just what I want. Why not? You know, establish him in Batman vs Superman. Have him as the main villain in Man of Steel. He kills Superman, and then Justice League Two, Superman is resurrected. Boom. End scene. Warner Brothers, listen to me. You better pay me a shit ton of money for that now. No, that'd be really cool. And then, uh, of course, we're wondering what are they going to show us at Comic Con? Comic Con starts on the 23rd, I believe, uh, of this month, and. Um, I've been looking at it, and there's no there's no Batman vs Superman panel. That doesn't mean they're not gonna surprise us with anything. And I try to look at the schedule, and WB or uh, Warner Brothers has a lot of shit scheduled for like every day. And I'm thinking, I'm, I want to know which day that they would actually do that because I want to take it off so I can be on top of this crap. We can take the day off, but I guess we'll see what happens. I know they're gonna show off Arrow and Flash, you know, the shows and everything, and they're gonna show some other crap. Constantine, I think DC's gonna show that. Uh, so I guess we'll see. I want to be there so bad. And over in the Avengers world, Stan Lee, he confirmed that he does have a cameo in Avengers 2, which is cool. We knew that was going to happen. We love it when we see that guy. But he also wants, I guess he stated he also wanted to have a cameo in Batman vs Superman. Why the fuck not? I say give it to him. You know, shit. Bob Kane sadly is dead. I don't know who, 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 I don't know exactly the, the guy's name who uh, came up with Superman. But I know Bob Kane came up with Batman. You know, sadly, he's passed away, you know. Rest in peace there, Mr. Bob. You are awesome for creating such a freaking icon. But yeah, I say, let Stanley do it. Why not? It'd be funny. Throw people off. Do it. Okay, then we move over to the other Marvel world, the Sony Marvel world, and that's just consists of Spider-Man. And one of their main writers, Roberto Arce, or Archie, uh, Orchi, something like that. Ah, I'm bad with names. Apparently, he has exited from writing Spider-Man 3, and uh, he's kind of iffy on the future of the franchise, just like a lot of us are. Now, obviously, Sony was very bold when they said, hey, we're going to expand the shit out of this universe. We're going to have spinoffs as well as three more sequels to Spider-Man. And they announced Sinister Six, a Venom standalone, and they announced, like, Spider-Man 3 and 4 and everything. And uh, pretty much that's what what happened. But they they kind of mentioned this before Spider-Man 2 came out. And then the feedback from Spider-Man 2 was kind of... I, for one, enjoyed the movie, most of it. There's a lot there's a lot wrong with that movie. And it, it, it was messy. The script was all over the place. It seemed like 
at the last minute they started pulling stuff out they started cutting stuff out because there's a lot of scenes that you see in the trailer it's not in the movie so what does sony need to do to save this franchise i have it right here sony see i should be the head of these companies i know exactly what we want this is how you save the amazing spider-man franchise sony okay give us the movie we want Give us the Spidey Venom movie we've been waiting for. Obviously, Spider-Man 3 had Venom, and that fucking sucked. Do not do that. Do everything opposite of that. Give us a dark, gritty, scary, fucking action-packed Spider-Man Venom story movie. It's in the comic books. It's there. You have it storyboard right there. Give us the movie we've been wanting. Venom will be the central villain, but you can have like maybe a side villain out in the shadows, kind of establishing more of that expanded universe, that Sinister Six universe, but give us that story. Show us Peter Parker as a broken man because of what happened to Gwen Stacy. Show him just totally just beating himself up, struggling with it, struggling with everything. And then of course, the whole Venom story starts and then with a black suit and he's all, mm. he's angry. He's just, nah, I mean, show us. Something like that. Sadly, with the I didn't like that part of the Spider-Man 2 when they were showing him like in front of her grave and there was like it showed like pretty much every season go by and apparently it was only like six months, but it looked like it was like years. Give us that, Sony. Make this Venom Spider-Man movie. Make it the one that we've been craving. Ah, solid story with a lot of conflict, man. I'm telling you what, look at Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man, the original Spider-Man 2 is still the best Spider-Man movie because there was so much conflict in there with Peter Parker. You gotta bring some of that into this new Peter Parker and it would be awesome if they just dwell, you know, you can have MJ in there too as his new love interest who's trying to like break through this barrier that Peter's trying to put up. Obviously he's a broken man because, you know, let's face it, he was part of the reason why she died because he is Spider-Man. So of course he's gonna be shielded off. Then you got MJ coming in, she's trying to break through, and he's like, no! And that's how you do it, and scene drops Mike. And finally, to wrap up the show, check this out. There you go, Sir Ian McKellen, that's right, as a 93-year-old Sherlock Holmes. Holy shit. Yeah, Ian McKellen's only like 70-something or anything, something like that, but yeah, apparently he's gonna be playing Sherlock Holmes in a uh, in a movie called Mr. Holmes that is based off of, I forgot what story it is, but basically the story is, he's 93 years old, he's living with his housekeeper and his housekeeper's son, of course he wants to be a detective, and there's something just eating away at Mr. Holmes, a 50 year old case that he's just, he only remembers fragments from, and he's still trying to figure out, sounds like an awesome story, you can't go wrong with Mr. Ian McKellen, I mean Jesus Christ, was Magneto and Gandalf not enough? Apparently not, but it's okay, because we love you Mr. Ian McKellen, and that's all the movie news I wanted to talk about today, make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind, so Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please visit FilmJunkie.com for your latest in movie news, trailers, and film reviews. Well, all right, guys, I am David, the Film Junkie, and I brought you some movie news you can find on your own, but I found it for you and told you about it. You are welcome. Whew. Man, this was an intense Film Junkie today, man. I'm telling you. I mean, you're, you're just coming from a nerd boy who's watched the, he's, who's read the comics, who's watched the cartoons, okay? And I know what, what we want to see up on the screen, okay? When it comes to the doomsday, I'm telling you, play it out like that be fantastic when it comes to spider-man give us that fucking venom movie that we've been craving okay don't fucking water it down make it dark make it gritty make it borderline r-rated for shit's sake <laughs> they won't go for that <laughs>